Hey, what's up? Good to see everyone again. Now, what are we going to do? Powers of 10. That's right, powers of 10. Why? Because there's many people just don't understand powers of 10. They get confused. Let me give you an example. 10 to the fifth power. What is that equal to? Let's think. Maybe 1,000, 10,000, maybe 100,000. Who knows? It's confusing. Well, now I'm going to show you how to figure out powers of 10. Okay, you guys ready? 10 to the 0 power equals 1, right? 10 to 0 equals 1. Why? Because the power of 0 tells you that after the 1, there's no zeros. The zeros there, and there's after the 1, there's no zeros. Next, 10 to the first power. 10 to the first power equals 10. Why? Because the power of 1 tells you that there's one zero after the 1. Next, 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power equals 10 times 10 equals 100. Notice that in the power of 2, that means there's two zeros after the 1. There's two there and there's two there. Again, in the power of 2, the 2 means that there's two zeros after the 1. Next, 10 to the third power. 10 to the third power equals 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. Notice that the power of 3, that means that there's three zeros after the one. See one, two, three there, and one, two, three there. Next, we're going to review negative powers of 10. Notice that 10 to the negative one power is one tenth or 0 0.1. Notice that the negative power one means there's one zero before the 1. Next, 10 to the negative 2 power. 10 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 tenth times 1 tenth equals 1 one hundredth or 0 0.01. Notice again that the power of negative 2 means there's two zeros before the 1. 1, 2, 1, 2 there, and then two zeros in our final. Next, 10 to the negative 3. 10 to the negative 3 equals 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth equals 1 one thousandth, or 0 0.001. Notice, again, that the negative 3 power means three zeros before the 1. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 in there, and 1, 2, 3 in our decimal answer. Three zeros before the 1. So if the power is positive, what do you do? You add a zero after the 1. Here's 10 to the first, we add a zero. 10 to the second, we add two zeros. 10 to the third, we add three zeros. If the power is negative, what do you do? Add a zero before the one. 10 to the negative one, we add 0 0.1. 10 to the negative two, we add two zeros before the one. 10 to the negative three power, we add three zeros before the one in our final decimal answer. Now, remember at the start of the video, we were discussing 10 to the fifth power. 10 to the fifth equals 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 100,000. Notice that the power of 5 means 5 zeros after the 1. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there, 
and one, two, three, four, five there. Okay, thank you for watching. See you later.